Hey guys, Nestler Magic here, and uh, just wanted to remind everybody, this isn't a particularly real video, I guess you would say. All I'm going to say is I'm trying to figure out why my videos are getting demonetized, and this is an experiment. That said, hopefully you get something out of this. Honestly, I just wouldn't watch it. Oh, that is unless you want to try to find the pattern, which, I mean, it's not that hard. So if you find yourself building a modern deck, you might uh, be playing black or mono black or black mix or primarily black, whatever, and think, okay, I need some kill spells because, duh, you need to stop opponent's creatures in most cases, and it's definitely worth uh, main boarding. So you start looking at, like, basically the list of all kill spells, and it is rough because the kill spells have all different little parameters and little, oh, this only affects this, or this does this, or this is a sorcery versus an instant, or this lets you scry one, or whatever. And they're all just so, so slightly different so that they don't just print, you know, basically negate over and over and over. And honestly, like, cancel, dissolve, and, you know, all the other versions of it. They are very slight variations of counter spells, so it's nothing new, and I like it. It gives you really fine granular options for, uh, I don't know, I guess specifically how your deck would act. But uh, there are some that are distinctly considered to be better than others, so I'm just going to run through all of them. This is a lot of research from way back when I built the Black Death deck, which is actually uh, really still a good deck. I might have to update it a little bit, but it's a very powerful, very, like mid-quality, mid-priced modern deck. So check it out, a uh, video on my channel. So first up, we gotta start with Fatal Push. I'm going in order of uh, mana cost because, you know, there's plenty of great four-cost kill spells, obviously. Um, same with uh, counter spells, actually. A lot of the four-cost ones are really quite good, but this is modern, so you're gonna need some cards before turn four. So Fatal Push, instant speed, there we go. Um, mono black, obviously I can't say, oh, it's double black, oh no, because it's just mono but um it has revolt and if you can manage to trigger that you can take out something with a cost of four or less um that's not very reliable though so reliably you can kill a creature if it has a mana cost of two or less which is pathetic i mean in modern generally a lot of the really really good stuff you want gone uh will actually have a cost of three and up so, unreliable is not the, the primary way I would want to describe a card that is played in modern. That said, this is definitely played in modern, especially in the faster decks. Now, the other thing is, past, like, turn 6 or 7, this is just useless. I mean, unless they're playing a ridiculously dirt-cheap deck, it's just not going to work. But, that said, if you're running more than one color and you've got fetch lands, it is probably going to reliably kill something with uh, 4 or less instead. So, I don't know, it just, it's, it very much depends on your deck and it depends on your opponent's deck, but I just don't like unreliability. So let's look at the only other one cost on this list, which is Vendetta. Now this is still an instant, believe it or not. A lot of people have never heard of this card. I mean, I, I can't believe it, it's so good. Destroy target non-black creatures, so you already eliminated, I guess you would say, one in five creatures, but I'm sure that's not really what's played. Um, it can't be regenerated, so that's huge. Uh, and then you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. So that's big. But if you think this move is game winning enough or you shut down their combo so they can't win or they, you know, their type of deck has an alternate win condition that's like all or nothing and you don't really care what your life total is because they're not trying to slowly like peck you down to zero, then yeah, I would maybe consider this. But the whole restriction of non-black, that is just so, so bad. But in most cases, I guess, um, you'd be able to destroy a creature. So... It's a pretty good kill spell. The whole loss of life mixed with the fact that you can't target a non or a, a black creature is really rough though. So I wouldn't grade this one very high and honestly you can kind of tell it's a common. So next up, I'm including this because I love the card. Uh, people might not say it's a kill spell, but I mean Grasp of Darkness is a kill spell. So Bile Blight, two cost instant. They're both black, which is honestly an indicator that the spell's really good. Whenever they have to double up on the colors, it's to balance the fact that it's like too good and they need to slow it down a little bit. So target creature and all other creatures with the same name, including tokens and all that. Uh, does that creature get negative three, negative three until end of turn? That will kill just about anything. Um, in general, creatures, when they're designed before variants and adjusting for rarity and intended power level, if they cost one, they'll have one toughness. If they cost two, they'll have two toughness. If they cost three, they'll have three toughness. That's just like the basic cookie cutter guideline. And then it's tweaked from there, depending upon, you know, it's attack power. And if it's a wall and if it's a defender and if it's a rare, if it's a mythic, you know, etc. 
So this will kill some serious stuff, and, uh, I mean, it'll kill virtually any token. So it's just good because it's like a multi-target kill spell. Doesn't care about color, doesn't care about anything else, doesn't even care about indestructibility. Does care about hexproof, though. And you might get a little two for one, three for one, you know, four, five, six for one if it's tokens uh, on the cast, and it's instant speed. So this is one of the all-time best kill spells in all of Modern. It just won't take out anything big enough to be like a Tarmogoyf, I would say. So as long as the creatures are being annoying, you're getting flooded or something like that, I would throw this in. Otherwise, it would be like the first one I would sideboard out just because it cannot take out a four toughness creature. Next up, the incredibly famous card, Doomblade. Now, this is printed in a whole bunch of the core sets, so it's not that hard to get your hands on, but uh, I think it is still above a dollar, so it's respected. So destroy target non-black creature. Just that's it. Black generic for the cost, instant speed. There are no drawbacks. It just can't be black or black mixed. So this is pretty good, but it is a little bit of a secondary card to the next one. So it looks good and it's such an easy binary switch basically in the sideboard where it's like, oh crap, half their creatures are black. Okay, swap it out with something else. You know, other than that, yeah, run it because it's going to destroy everything else. But the next one is my personal choice for the most reliable, universal, just bread and butter kill spell. It's go for the throat. Destroy target non-artifact creatures. So the only thing you have to worry about is that it not be an artifact. Now that has come up. I've been stuck with a couple of these in my hand and people are running artifact creatures and I want them gone, but who's running like a modern golem deck these days, you know? So it doesn't come up terribly often, but when it does, it's going to be annoying, but this is so much more generous and has so fewer exemptions, especially in like actual realistic play in modern than Doomblade that I would definitely pick this over Doomblade. And it's actually kind of expensive. I think it's like two or three bucks if I remember correctly. It wasn't really printed that much. Uh, next up, we've got another kind of good spell, um, Murderous Compulsion. It does cost two, so that's cool. It's not double black, that's cool too. It is a sorcery, that I don't like at all. The Madness cost, that means nothing and it's the same as the other cost, that, that's just dumb. And, uh, destroy target tapped creature. So, no color restriction, no artifact restriction, but you do have to cast this on your own turn, which is very annoying, and, um, it has to be tapped. So if it's a creature with Vigilance, you're out of luck, basically. Um, if it's a really obnoxious creature that they're basically treating as an enchantment because they're never swinging with it because it's too important, uh, important, it's just out there doing something like using a trigger or an ability, this will not kill it. So I don't love this card, but if you know that they're playing some kind of, you know, attack all out thing, yeah, it would be all right. It's just there are better options. So I'd grade this one pretty low. Next up, we've got another really interesting one. Another two cost, single black, instant. Um, still not a rare, so that's cool. Destroy target monocolored creature. So all that it has to be is not more than one color. Um, you'd be surprised how many creatures in modern are actually monocolored. But then again, I could think of a whole bunch that are mixed colors. So it's not a terrible card, but I think after Fatal Push, the price on this just fell. And they also printed it as a promo, and the promo's under a dollar. So not a lot of people still playing this. It's not really that reliable, and it wouldn't be my first choice. Next up, we've got a very interesting one, very much overlooked. I've only seen people playing this once or twice. Um, it's a double black instant, and it very much deserves to be because, I mean, it's really good. Uh, destroy target, non-vampire, non-werewolf, non-zombie. I've got to say that's better than go for the throat because of the sheer number of artifact creatures. What are the odds you're going to go up against a vampire, werewolf, or zombie? I'd say vampire, zombie, maybe in modern. Werewolf, I've certainly never seen one. I'm sure it exists. But uh, this is going to kill something. I mean, it, it's pretty much a sure thing. The only thing is, okay, why would you not just use the three cost that can destroy literally anything, like the card Murder, that's like the baseline that's like cancel, basically. Because if you're running this card instead, you're either running mono black, or you're going to end up casting this later anyway if you can't generate two black. So the whole, I'm going to cast this on turn two or, or turn three with a, a non-land draw, well... Not if you can't generate two black. So if you even have a mountain on the field, you aren't casting this. So I think that alone makes it not quite as good as Go for the Throat, which is my number one choice. 
Uh, but it's still worth consideration, that's for sure. Next up, almost the same card, Walk the Plank, Destroy Target Non-Merfolk Creature. All it has to be is not a Merfolk. Well, unfortunately, there's a Merfolk deck in Modern, and it's pretty popular, and it probably just got worse with the release of Ixalan. Um, also, this is a Sorcery. That, that alone right there just kills this card. It, it's just not an option. Oh, look, it costs two, but I have to wait an entire turn. Well, then it might as well cost three. I mean... Really, you're going to drop that third land or whatever and then do something with your one remaining land? No, probably not. You need it to be instant speed. So next up, I did reference uh, Murder because that is, like, as far as I'm concerned, the baseline, I'm going to remove a creature. Just It's just like uh, counter spells. Killing a creature takes three mana, and if it takes less than three mana, they put a restriction on it. Same exact thing as counter spells. Countering a spell costs three. That is a universal <laughs> unwritten rule of the game. Gee, I wonder where I got that idea. Now, if they want to make a counter spell that costs two, they're going to put a downside on it. Like, oh, it can only target non-creature. It can only target creature. Um, it can only target spells that target you or a permanent you controlled. Um, you know, something like that. They always put like a little bit of a downside Oh, it might not work if they make it cheaper. And that's just like traditional generic game balancing and they've been doing it for over 20 years so you might think okay well i know that you mentioned cancel is like the baseline three cost you know universal counter spell what would it be for kill spells well that's murder obviously um but then there's uh dissolve which i think is arguably the best three cost one um it's just better than cancel just straight up it just is i feel like there's one even better than dissolve but i can't think of it Oh yeah, Disallow. Oh my god, duh, it's still legal right now. So Disallow would be the absolute king of counter spells, unless you really need Descry, then it would be Dissolve. So what is the absolute three-cost king of destruction spells that'll kill a creature? Well, I think we can all agree, uh, which, uh, probably not, I don't know why I even said that, nobody's gonna agree on this whatsoever. Hero's Downfall. It just, it, you can't get any better than that. It's instant, it's only double black, and you can take out a creature or a planeswalker. Now, unless you're trying to do something really specific, like kill a creature and then gain life, because there's a couple of those out there, I think. They might have restrictions. This might be sorcery speed, though. Um, if that's what you need your deck to do, then that would be a better option. But otherwise, this is like the most wide open, the most useful, the most likely to work. It's not sorcery. It's not triple black. This is just the best. Now, like I said, for your particular deck or your particular circumstance or what opponents you typically play against, you might have a better option than this, but this one really stood out as the best. And the cool thing is this card's always floating in around two to three bucks, so it's very, very reasonable. It's certainly only going to go up over time, but uh, it's still not bad. Now, the big exception to this, and this would be such a longer video, is anything that's not mono black. As soon as you start mixing colors, you get like unlicensed disintegration and uh I'm trying to think what that really famous one is i mean there's people who play utter end that's a pretty good card there's like i think like a two cost kill spell that's really 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 good but it's split color so then it's it's color specific i just wanted to do mono black i don't know why well actually probably because black devotion is one of the best new modern decks that i've ever seen and um, my mono black kill deck is actually pretty good too so if you want to look it up, it's called Black Death. It's really, really, really good, um, really effective. It, the way I phrase it is, if they need to win with creatures, they're not going to. And then unfortunately, it loses to pretty much everything else. So if they're playing like Storm or Affinity, yeah, you are going to lose. So a little bit of a, a flaw there. But if you like beating Zoo or anything with a Tarmogoyf in it or just killing off stupid recurring overpowered creatures, yeah, this is the way to do it. Oh, and it also nukes Merfolk, which is hilarious. So this video is all about kill, 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 kill spells and killing. Guess why I made this video? So let's see what the demonetization robot on YouTube does with it. I mean, I literally said the word kill like 50 times in this video. So if that's the magic triggering word for Snowflake Bot 9000, we're going to figure it out real quick. But hopefully this ridiculous shallow premise for a video was enough to educate you slightly on choices for specifically mono black, non-color mix, non-splash kill spells in modern. Because everybody was asking for that. And I'll see you guys next demonetization.